guys, today I'll be showing you the basics of Ubuntu 10.10 .10, along with reviewing 10.10 .10 at the end of the show. And of course, if you're looking for advanced stuff in Ubuntu, please check out our future videos. Um, we will be showing you how to do more advanced items. So you'll learn as we learn, I guess. Um, I previously had 9.10 and or 9.04 and then before that I had 8.10. Um, 8.10 was basically basics. It didn't have nothing fancy with it, but it was free, nice. Um, and then here we're looking at 10.10. .10. Um, it's really nice. It has four screens on it by default. We have our trash can right there, which right there was our test video we did. <clears throat> and then of course we have this little icon right there, which basically, let's see if I had that open, hit that takes us back to desktop so we'll close that and then of course we see it we have my external hard drive my flash drive in and then of course my other external hard drive um, so as we see on top there's applications places system my browser which by default is Firefox right here we have a wired network connection and this is the recording software I'm using to stop it that's the sound and of course my mail my account for Ubuntu One, and then of course I can lock the screen, guest, all that good stuff. So first we're gonna look at accessories. As you can see, there's calculator, character map, disk usage, manage print job, take screenshots, search for files, terminal, all that good stuff. Um, and real quick, just to show you guys, it's actually pretty fast. We'll do five. I guess I turn my num lock on and help. Five plus five, ten, fast, and then we close. No problems, no lags, nothing. Games, um, which is really funny. A lot of people say Ubuntu is not made for gaming, but if I show you the software center, it actually has amazing games there. And of course, everything in the Ubuntu software center is free. So we'll open that real quick. Let it load. First time loading that. There is over 34,000 items there in the market they have, and the market is free. But there is Solitaire, G Brainy, Mines, yeah, not good games. We'll add more though. Graphic wise, they don't have nothing on there. Um, of course, they have like a simple scan, photo manager. Um, instead of Microsoft Office, which would come on Windows, it comes with the uh, Open Office. But as we look at internet, you know, you have your mail, your browser, your clients, remote desktop, about what you'd get on a Windows. Um, office, though, they have a dictionary, the mail, and of course, like I had mentioned, the open office. We'll open up dictionary. Um, let's look up technology. And see, technology. It's pretty interesting. I've never used that actually, but seeing that it's on there, I probably will now. Um, sound and video. Of course, we have the disc burner, um, which is a default. The desktop recorder to re uh, record your desktop, I went to install. So I went online real quick before we. Uh, but other than that, this is a fresh install of Ubuntu. I haven't touched it or modded it. Um, we just hurried up and got a recorder so we could show you guys. Um, of course, there's a movie player, uh, editor, music box, and of course, a sound recorder. Places, well, it's about your default. You have your folders, files, all that good stuff. And it's weird that it shows that there's no icon. I'm pretty sure I can fix that. But anyways, it's just random stuff I have. Um, and then, of course, system. You can learn about Ubuntu, GNOME, you can get help and support, your preferences, you have the about me, which, of course, Tyler, username's Tyler, password, well, is my password, um, you got your contact information, I really never fill this out, it's not a big deal, um, eh, close that, go back to preference, um, appearance, we have theme, background, fonts, and visual effects. And real quick, guys, 
right now it's on normal um i know from having 9.04 uh, you will be needing the extra feature to do a lot of things that we'll show in future videos. Uh, but to have this, you must have a graphics card. Um, and to show you guys, um, when you freshly install your Ubuntu 10.10, .10, you need to go to System, Administration, and go to Additional Drivers and it will search for all your available drivers that are on your computer um, and then wait for that to load up and see it's important because if you don't have available drivers and by default you can't do the extra settings then you can't do a lot of the creative stuff Ubuntu can do but as we can see I've already enabled my ATI AMD uh, graphics card but what you would do is instead of remove it say enable you hit enable it would load it and after it load it you'd have to restart it and then yeah that would be ready to go uh... technologies ATI, bluetooth broadcast email keyboard and your basic your monitors monitors unknown i don't think it understands what my monitor is but it's cool Um, and we'll just restore and then we'll hit X. Uh, messaging and VOP. I guess if you had an empathy account. Uh, network connections, power management, remote desktop, screensaver, sound, startup, Ubuntu 1, which is actually pretty cool. Um, I know on Android they have a Ubuntu 1 application. But Ubuntu One is like a file share. Um, basically, you create an Ubuntu One account, and then on your Android device, we'll do an, we'll do a video on this for sure too. It's pretty cool. Um, I haven't tried it, but it sounds cool. But basically, I could stream music and look at pictures on my phone from this computer as long as it's on. But we'll close that. Um, of course, that's about it on that. Screensavers, you know, you get your basic you got an ant spotlight it's kind of cool but I would never use it Cosmo that's cool fiber lamp that's probably my favorite floating feet Ubuntu the matrix to those who like school <laughs> text that cool little deal and the pictures but I don't have none of course, an administrator, you got your additional drivers, you got your computer janitor, disk utility, language, login screen. Um, the only thing I think anybody would need out of this um, would be your additional drivers, maybe computer jan uh, janitor. Uh, you may do user groups and system monitoring tests. Uh, testing, just We'll go through everything, your video card, your sound card, all that. Uh, system monitoring is actually cool. It shows you how much of your CPU you're using. I actually have 4 gigs of RAM in, and I only use 9.2% of it, so that's why it loads fast. CPU-wise, it's not too bad. Um, it's actually decent. So my four CPUs are doing pretty good. Uh, swap memory. I'm using none of that right now. Networking. I'm not on it, so I mean it's connected of course, but I'm not using it at this moment. So that's why that's like that. Um but basically that's it. Um it's pretty cool. And like I said, you got your Ubuntu software so center, so you ever get bored, just you can have a heyday there. Um of course we'll show you any cool applications. Um there's thousands and thousands of course and like you see right there 34,589 items are available and there's constant updates for it um, and real quick guys um, before I forget when you first install Ubuntu also go to up, a update manager Whew, tongue twister and basically you just if it doesn't already, I've already installed them because it won't let you do anything unless you do. But just check. It's going to download a base. 
it's going to update it and then I shouldn't have any updates to do and these updates would be for my graphics card so um, might as well update those but other than that that's it and of course another cool thing about this is whenever you want to install anything like it's kind of in a way similar to the Vista 7 um, where you'd have to cancel or allow but it's actually nice because I mean you can disable the setting but I always leave it on because I could see myself maybe one point in time maybe I did get hacked or something someone may try to install something and they'd have to have my password so type your password authenticate it and that's it so thank you guys for looking at the welcoming of Ubuntu 10.10 .10 in the world of tech life uh, rate, comment, subscribe, spread the words, and if you have any suggestions or uh, you want need some help on Ubuntu, be sure to leave a comment. Until then, that's it. Tech your, or as we always say here, world of tech, get plugged in.